Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the gallery room. And I want you to know it's really hard to um, restrain myself for colors. So I've got black enamel that's a folk art color. It's probably gloss. This is a Modern Masters Venetian Blue. This is a folk art purple flash, which is a color shift. This is not supposed to be in here, but it is anyway. This is a turquoise color shift from folk art. This is a purple, I'm not sure where, but it's got metallic in it, and it could be because I put iridescent pearl fine in it from Golden. This is a 24 karat gold that I added orange to. That's a Deco Art Americana, metallic. This is a folk art orange color shift that's more pink than anything. It's beautiful. Um, this is what's left of some red. I don't know if that's gonna go in there or not. We'll see it soon enough. I'm not sure what's in my bottle of gold. All I know is it still looks good through the bottle, so um, I'm hoping that'll work because I'm really, 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 really low on my Deco Art Americana 24 karat gold, which is my favorite, by the way. So I'm gonna take these, which I've checked to see if they're all open, and I'm gonna put them down, and hopefully I won't be too tempted by anything else. I'm gonna use my conventional mixture of black, which is half Artist Loft and half semi-gloss uh, onyx from Color Place from Walmart. I've got a couple few different swipe cards, different size. I can cut this one, assuming that I can find my scissors. Ah, uh, yeah, there they are, hey, cool. That does not happen that often. This is my OXO omelet turning spatula, best paint spreading tool I know of. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas that I just poked my finger in. And I am going to make sure that's shaken. I shook it earlier. Yes, this is my creative fun start. I once sold a painting for a thousand dollars that was done the same way. It was a great painting. I didn't really want to sell it. That's why it was a thousand dollars. I think it was a little larger than this one. So I did put a break of cupcake, silicone cupcake holders underneath my my tile on my turntable to try and keep it from turning. And then I tried to turn it, so that's what you just saw. So I hope that I can be quick because <laughs> I'm supposed to be going out to dinner and I don't have a lot of time. But uh, swipes are often not too, they don't take too long. So this is a really weird variation on a theme. Instead of being just a swipe that uses the black and the black enamel, which I intend on using, I am thinking about a geometric configuration as opposed to just like a line down the middle. I'm not gonna worry too much about my edges. I think I can either scrape my spatula off and add some color that way, or I can touch them up later. I do like to scrape my spatula off along the edge, so that way if I get a puddle of paint dripping down over, then I'm halfway home. I like to have that, that little canvas strip that I find very irritating covered as much and as often as possible by doing the spatula tap along the edge. Look for any puddles of paint and any canvas showing. Not worry about anything. That's just about the right amount of paint. Who knows how much it is? I don't think I've ever measured it. Maybe I should do that sometime. I know there are people who do that and it works well for them and I wish I had the patience to do that and take that time. So I'm just going to wipe my spatula off really quickly on one end because I hate wasting that paint and it seems like there's enough paint there to do that with. And then I'm going to throw it in the bucket right after I take that last finger full. Yeah. I am like that. So I'm going to try this with my first with my first colors being my ones that I haven't used a lot of and that are favorites. And I am going to put some black enamel into a dish. And hopefully you can see that. Maybe you can. And I'm going to start... What am I going to start with? I'm going to start with some of this color that I don't find very appealing until it dries. And I probably should have just put some of this gold right in. Now, if, usually I would put paint all over. Let's just try a small section of this. And see what we get. That reminds me, I need a scrape dish. Now, I want to continue in this vein. 
And maybe if I use less gold, I'll still get some cells, but then I'll get the color. So that's my theory. I'm going to wipe off my card, dip it in again across, try and make sure my bottles are somewhat out of the way. I thought about using wet paper towels, and I will at some point. I'm not going to worry about little digs or strange patterns. I don't need to fill them in. I like them. I think they're very organic. And I'm going to keep wiping off my card on the nice damp cloth. I think I will go ahead and give myself permission to use that red. And maybe just, maybe just the black this time. Just the enamel. Because I'm liking what I'm getting. And I could move from the outside into... Oh, I want gold. Wait, I almost forgot. <laughs> I definitely always want some gold. I'm just going to keep experimenting with varying amounts of it. And if I have a lot of paint left over on my edge catcher come swipe card, I will use it on my edge if I remember. So I'm kind of being called to that turquoise now because I really like what's happening and I'm about to use smaller. Shall I go from the outside in like I said? Let's do that. Let's just do it. I think I went a little overboard there. Is that open still? Alright, let's use, that's too short. I'm going to just do the middle of this. And try and do a shorter pull. It's time for that purple. This is fun, I gotta say. I'm having a good time. I want to, I want to try and restrain myself and do a shorter pull. Or a, or a less wide pull is more like it. So far, I'm liking what I've got. I don't think I need to clean that edge of that card off. So it's a weird geometric. I'm thinking that I'm going to try some of the Anita's White Pearl. But where from? Good question. Uh, -dum -dum. Right down the middle? No. I want to remember to keep trying to do something from the outside in. Whoa, stuck my fingers right in the paint. Okay, I've got good paint left on my card. How far will the white go is the question. I'm liking the texture. I really, really am. It makes me want some paint, though, and I didn't pull that out. I think it's the purple flash I'm going for. No. Question is outside in or inside out? Um, I want to go both ways. <laughs> I want that to come out. Oh, shoot. Come on. I cleaned this out twice today. It's in a mood. There's something. Now it's on my window. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do just what I said. Or I'm going to try and do just what I said. I want to do it the opposite way and see what happens. I've still got black paint, but I want a little bit more. All right, since I've got that, I've got extra paint. I want to, ooh, yeah, good idea. I was going to say, like, I've got extra paint on there that I'm not using. I really want some of that white, and I've got a long skinny, I had a long skinny, yes. I have a long skinny swipe card, so let's just try that out. Maybe, without any gold, you can always go back and add it. And that'll be a good accent. I like that. 
just filling in. No matter what I get the first time out, I can go back and use what I've got as a start to do something else. And I'm kind of liking that. I don't see any cells yet. I'm trying to look at what I've got and I'm loving the purple flash just so much. So much so I think I'm going to do a wide piece. And I'm kind of being called to the minty green from Color Shift that I didn't talk about that they call emerald green now. So we'll see if I do that in a second. Let's just grab my card. Let's wipe off the beautiful colors I hate to waste that I could have wiped off somewhere else on there. Grab some more black enamel. Oh, I went the wrong direction. Okay, well I'll have a backup in a second if I don't drop the card. So I got a little drag mark right down the center. And sometimes when I do stuff like that, I get interesting things happening and that makes me happy. I'm going to have to clean this card off. Maybe I'll just clean it off by doing some other stuff here. Making some texture and hoping it works out, sort of thing. I like the blue, the Venetian blue is good, and I think there's going to have to be some more of it in a moment. And maybe give it a little bit of that turquoise too and see how that goes. Don't forget the gold. I'm going to put it right in between. And then maybe with my residuals, I'll come back and do the next one. I want some of that. All right, I like that. I wonder how much paint I have left. I don't mind that either. I'm getting somewhere and I like where I'm getting. So, I'm into combining a few things. That was the pinky orange, I don't know what the name of it is, I'm so sorry, uh, color shift from Folk Art. And the red has got some iridescent pearl fine in it, I believe. Just gonna take that card, wipe it right over the edge, stick my finger in the gaps. Notice I can use it to camouflage some other edge, catch some drips. Maybe just rub it right along there because I can the name of my first book on the Amazon link. I don't mind that. That's actually kind of cool, but I am wanting some more of that white. And I'm going to use some black enamel again. Not nearly enough of that white. I'm thinking maybe if I put some right on the card, I might get what I want. We shall see. Definitely got something. I'm not sure I like it yet. I'm liking it. Took me a second, but I like it. right there. Getting close to something that I think I'm going to call done in a moment. Wipe my card off. So that's kind of subtle. I think I want some dots of the color shifting turquoise and to use a small card. I wonder if I could dip in gold and black. I 
Well, let's not find out this time. Hopefully you can still see all that. I'm wondering what color I'm missing. I don't suppose I actually need gold in everything at all. The color shifting paints cover each other nicely. I'm so close to being done. I can tell you now, I love you guys. There's almost 90,000 of you. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for liking my videos. I appreciate the thumbs up very much. Thank you for watching them longer. That really helps me out. Thank you, everybody who shops my Amazon link. I wonder what this is going to dry like. I really like it. It's kind of simple. Um, it's a definitely simple premise of just go for it and have some fun. I think I want some purple over there. Yes, I do. Now, you could basing brush through these things. You could definitely dot if you wanted to. I'm just trying to find my happy place. My muse just called me to orange, but I think that's going to have to be another video. All right, so I've got two minutes to tell you guys. I do sell my artwork, and my email address, should you want to contact me in that regard, is below the link tree. The link tree is where everything else is stashed, especially my Amazon link, where if you shop, it's a no at a cost to you, and it helps me out, and I appreciate it very much. And you can find the Oxo Omelette Turning Spatula there. And the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas. Wait, I still have one, don't I? I have a couple, actually. The rest are in the dish drainer. I have a number four and number three. I like the number one. Wait, there it is, number one. And uh, they serve me well. I'm going to torch to release the bubble scot and the paint. Look under the, res look under the description of the video to find out the paint pouring recipe. Look under the link tree if you're looking for the current artworks that I just painted. Pinterest is the place to go, for sure. Instagram, excuse me. Pinterest has the boards, the video board that will show you the current video that's going to play tomorrow, probably, or today. Instagram is where I post my current artworks. I like this. This is different. I love those cells, and I love those colors, and I love color shift. And I'm going to touch up my edges after you guys are gone. And I'm going to look at my crib sheet over there and tell you that underneath the link tree you can find Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for those of you who might be looking to find out what artworks I have edited and are capable of being added to fineartamericanpixels.com, but they are on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors inside the albums. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More has a Shop Now button that will lead you to Fine Art America and Pixels.com. This is cool, and the more I look at it, the more I like it. And I'm definitely going to be playing with this method again. So what else should I tell you guys? Teespring Clothing, under the video, has my Oliver Print leggings and Oliver Print t-shirts and lots of other cool stuff. Yes, I'm stealing a little paint. i got one minute left, and... You can probably go because I'm only going to tell you that I have two books on my Amazon link and the first one is called Because I Can and the second one is called Unlimited Possibilities and you can find them next to each other. What else? What else? What else? I think that's right about it. I love you guys. I'm going to try and get up on my little ladder pretty quick. Look on the community board for tomorrow's video on my YouTube channel. If you want to be included in the monthly drawing, then make, make yourself useful if you feel like it and make a donation through PayPal or Patreon. And I will send you a receipt. we got to zoom right in, don't we? There are some awesome cells. Let's see if I can move the painting this time instead of swinging the turntable. There are some really awesome cells in there. Anyway, so, where was I? Over 1,500 videos are available on my creative playlists, under all playlists on my YouTube channel. And uh, I love you guys. If you, have, if you have questions, please ask me. Thank you for the wonderful comments, and I really appreciate all the donations that have helped me keep painting, keep painting all this time. I love you guys. Look for the exhibition video in the last 20 seconds of any video for the prizes for that month. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.